everyone, and welcome back to our Stacks and Strength and Materials class. Today we're going to be going over problem, or sorry, example 10, as always, 10-1, textbook. Now what it gives us is it gives us a picture. I'm going to go ahead and draw that, and it looks something like this. Now this is a stress strain diagram. So we have at the bottom is, it says strain times 10 to the negative fourth. That just means that whatever value we get for the strain, we multiply it by 10 to the negative fourth. Now on this side we have the stress, and that's going to be in PSI. Okay, and that gives us two points on this curve, right here and right here. Something along this line, with this one being at 5,000 PSI, this one being at 20,000 PSI, and then the points being 6.67 and 1.67, but remember that is times 10 to the negative fourth. And wants us to figure what the modulus of elasticity is between these two points. So what is E? Now if we look at our equations, what we get is that we can find E using Hooke's law. So we have sigma equals E so this is the stress is equal to the modulus of elasticity times the strain. Or in this case, I can just take the stress divided by the strain. And that should equal E. To be a bit more accurate, what I'm going to do instead is say that it's the delta stress and the change in strain. To make it just slightly more accurate. And delta right here is saying change, so final minus initial. So if I plug that in, what I get is that that is equal to 20,000 minus 5,000 all over. I got to include that times 10 to the negative fourth. I'll do that at the end. 6.67 minus 1.67 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that gives me a value of 30 million PSI. It should be big. Modules elasticity are usually big numbers. So that would be our answer. 30 million PSI. And it's all coming from Hooke's Law. But we've got to be very careful because this only applies right here in this linear section. Sorry, I should include this all the way to the beginning. Only in that linear section does Hooke's Law work. Beyond that, no dice. Okay, with that, I hope this makes sense, and I'll see you in the next example. Have a good day.